everyone, my name is Brittany Faber and I'm the 2011 Sheboygan County Fairs of the Fair. I was born and raised here in Plymouth, Wisconsin on a small hobby farm consisting of beef, chickens, and pigs, where I've also exhibited here at the fair. I graduated Plymouth High School in 2008, went on to receive my dairy herd management degree, and graduated last spring. I'd like to invite you to walk around the fair with me with other exhibitors and different youth as I interview them throughout the barn walks. And I'm here with Faith from the Happy Workers and Holly from from Kettle Moraine here and they show dairy here at the Sheboygan County Fair. Faith, what 4-H group are you a part of and what do you all get to do in the 4-H group? Um, I'm from the Happy Workers 4-H group and I, uh, I actually have to do uh, duty or whatever for that yeah. tonight actually. And Holly, what 4-H group are you part of and what do you all get to do? I'm from Kettle Moraine and I show dairy and um, I do 4-H uh, fair projects that are in the 4-H building. And what other 4-H projects do you get to do with besides dairy cattle? Um, well, I don't know. Yeah, I, all I did this year was woodworking, made a picture frame. Great, great. So can you tell me about some of your calves here at the fair? The one with the green is my calf, and her name is Raisin. And I showed her today, and I got a boo, and I got a trophy today. Cool, congratulations. Why did you name her Raisin? Uh, that's what my dad named her. Cool, so what's your favorite thing here about the Sheboygan County Fair? Um, probably seeing all the people and dairy and walking around and stuff. Cool, great. And Faith, what's your favorite part of the Sheboygan County Fair? I kind of like, just like, I see my friends everywhere and I get to do dairy and yeah, a lot. And the Sounds great. Well, congratulations and good luck at the rest of the fair. We are here with Cole Booth here uh, as another ex dairy youth exhibitor. Cole, what is the name of your heifer standing right here? Mimi. Mimi, and how long have you had her and what have you done to prepare her for the fair? Well, we've had her since last year's spring and we have been trying to thin her down and get her more dairy for the show t today. Good, and what preparation did you have to get her ready? Did you have to wash her a lot and clip her a lot to get her ready for the show today? Um, we clipped her on Sunday before the fair and we washed her this morning. Good, good, good. Can you tell me the accomplishments that you've won here so far at the fair? Um, this heifer got junior champion of the, the registered dairy show and I have a winter calf that got honorable mention in first dinner class and a fall calf that got first dinner class as well. Well congratulations. What are you going in for now? Um, I'm going in for Um, individual herd, which is where you, there's three people that lead your three animals, and then I will be the one trying to um, make them look the best that they can while the three people are leading them. Great, well thank you very much, Cole, and good luck. Thanks. We're here with Michelle Minert at the Deary Show. What have you exhibited so far today? I exhibited um, a summer yearling <laughs> and a three-year-old senior cow. Okay, and how have you done so far today? I took second blue with my summer yearling and I got second place with my cow. Congratulations. What else have you been a part of for this year's Sheboygan County Fair so far? I showed um, swine uh, on Wednesday and I did pretty well with that. So did you also get to take part in the meat animal sale that was held yesterday evening? Yes, I did. Um, <laughs> what was your buyer? Um, my Tri-County Pork Producers bought my pig. Okay. Well, congratulations to that. What's your favorite part about the fair? The friends. Just getting to see all of them. Great, great. And how many, how many years have you been involved? And what 4-H group are you part of? And what do you do in 4-H? Um, I believe this is my 10th year as a 4-H member and I'm part of the Johnsonville Hustlers.
All right, just, just one entry in our dam and offspring class, but a really nice pair of cows or pair of animals here. The Swiss cow and the heifer were both single entries in their classes, but could have withheld a little bit of competition. This cow is a really nice uttered cow, especially in her fore udder, um, and tight udder attachments both fore and rear. If I had to change something, I'd maybe say the heifer could be a little bit cleaner cut throughout, but a really nice pair of animals. Congratulations. Let's give these two exhibitors a big round of applause. It's quite an accomplishment to have two really nice cows out here for champion bred and owned. Both the Jersey and the Swiss cow are tremendous cows in their own right. Um, the Jersey being champion female of the show and the Swiss could have been right up there as grand champion in her breed as well. I think for a champion bred and owned, I am gonna go with a grand champion overall female, the Jersey today. Um, just on her advantage in height and width of rear udder and being a little bit more open and dairy, uh, especially through her rib. Congratulations to both though, a tremendous pair of cows. Nice job. Congratulations to Courtney Perone of the Weeping Lizards for the champion Brendan Noam. Now entering the ring is the individual herd. An individual herd must consist of three animals exhibited by one exhibitor. I am here with Chrissy Meyer, the 2011 Sheboygan County J Dairy Judge. How have you become a dairy judge and give me a little bit about your background. Yeah, I started dairy judging when I was a young kid. I grew up on a 40 cow dairy farm and my dad got me involved in dairy judging when I was about 10 years old and so I started, competed through 4-H and had a little success when I was young. So I started, competed on the UW-Madison dairy cattle judging team as well and competed at various contests throughout college. And um, you said you're from a 40 cow dairy farm. Where is that located and what else have you done with the dairy farm and what do you do now besides dairy cattle judging? Yeah, I'm come from a 40 cow registered Holstein farm in southwest Wisconsin, Viroqua to be exact. Um, I work with Alta Genetics right now um, with their progeny test, Alta Advantage program. And whenever I'm home and not traveling through the Midwest with my job, I'm also able to help my dad at home a little bit with milking cows or feeding calves um, or what needs to be done, especially on weekends. Great. So what can you say was the most challenging and most rewarding um, fun thing about today's judging? The most challenging part was actually selecting those individual herd classes. There's so many exhibitors that had such tremendous groups of cattle. There was a lot of really nice animals here, you know, from the young spring calves all the way up to the grand champion cows and every single breed, too. Um, so it was really rewarding to see at the end of the day and see it all come together and see the, the champions really sorted themselves out and um, just 
seeing it all come together at the end of the day and all the kids just did a tremendous job. I look forward to judging showmanship tomorrow. All right, if everybody could please give a big round of applause to these exhibitors out here for the individual herd. It's a really tough group to judge. There's some really nice groups of cattle out here right now. And so picking a winner in this class is quite a challenge, but I think that um, for my winning entry in the individual herd, I'm gonna go with a Jersey group down there. We've got our grand champion female overall and honorable mention champion in the Jersey breed. I'm gonna follow in a close second with the Holstein group right here in front of me. Um, we've got the grand and reserve grand Holstein champions and a really nice heifer to go along with it. The Jersey gets the advantage and they've got a little more maturity in um, having three cows versus two cows and one heifer um, and a class winning cow in that Jersey group as well. Following in third, I'm gonna follow with the other group of Holsteins up here that also has a grand and reserve grand champion Holstein um, and one cow. I give the advantage um, to, the, to the group that I have in second on the consistency um, between the group of three. The, I love the two champion cows, would maybe like to give a little more depth to the third cow in my third place group. And then following in fourth, I'm gonna go with the Swiss group that I've got. Um, two really nice cows that could have withstood a little competition in their breed, uh, in their breed show and a heifer to go along with it. But a really nice group of, uh, a lot of, un really nice group of individual herds out here. And congratulations to all the exhibitors that are out here taking nothing away from the other groups. Um, just having a little more maturity with having cows in the group and um, consistency throughout. We are here with Trent Coleman uh, in the sheep barn. Can you tell me about your 4-H group and your background and where you go to school? Well, I'm part of the Happy Workers 4-H Club. We're out of Plymouth. We have our meetings every month, and we do a lot of service around the community, like at the nursing home, and we do a, a highway cleanup also. Great. Uh, can you tell us a little, about, little bit about your sheep here and different awards that you've won this week? Well, this week I showed breeding stock for sheep. I had South Downs, which are white sheep with wool on their head and face. I had champion South Down Ram and champion South Down U. Great. Did you take part in the meat animal sale yesterday evening? And can you tell us about the buyer? I took part in the meat animal sale. I sold a hog, actually, not a sheep. And my buyer was fighter trucking. Great. And besides sheep and pigs, are you part of anything else around the fair with other 4-H projects? All I do is just show sheep and pigs. I don't have anything else. Is there anything that you do for the sheep before the fair and what takes part in before the fair throughout the summer to get them ready for show? Well, you have to train them to walk and how to stand. And then before show, we wash them and then we share all the wool off except for on the heads and legs. So you try to give them a better appearance and then you'd comb that out and then trim it up to make it look nice. Hello, we are here with Caden Nicolaus from the Johnsonville Hustlers. How old are you and where do you go to school, Caden? I am 10 years old and I go to school at Riverview. Great, and tell me a little bit about your pigs, what's their names, and what breed are they? Um, I have one of my pigs is a crossbred of a Hampshire and a Yorkshire. Um, her name is Spot. And then I have one that's a cross of a Yorkshire, and we're not sure what it, what the other part of it, it, him is, and his name is Smokey. And how did Spot and Smokey do at the show on Wednesday? Um, really well. Spot got Reserve Grand Champion, 
Overall, in Smokey got um, champion junior showmanship, and then he got second blue in his class, and um, Spot got first blue in her class. Very good. Sounds like you had a really good fair so far. What activities do you take part in besides hogs? Um, I do poultry and I do woodworking. Great, and how did showing the poultry go today? Um, really good. I got three third places and three first places, and one of mine made the small animal auction. Great, and I see that you've made the auction here for the meat animal sale. Uh, who, can you tell me about your buyer and how well they did at the, at the sale? Um, my buyer was Schneider's Funeral Home, and he really helped me out a lot, and he, he bought my pig for $7.75 a pound, and that I'm really proud of, and yeah, so. Throughout the summer to get your pig ready, what do you all have to do to get him ready for the show day at fair? Um, we had to walk them twice a day, um, we had to wash them twice a day, and just give them company, and just be with them most of the time. Did you have to feed them separately or did you just give them all they can eat or did you have to measure out their feed? Most of, for most of the time we gave them all they could eat but then we had to put them on a diet for a month because they weighed way too much. Very good. Did you have to give them any kind of haircut or anything like that for the fair? Yeah, we had to give them a haircut to um, three-eighths on the body and then sh really um, one-eighth on the legs and the face and the ears and stuff. We are here with Sarah Lillisand. Uh, she exhibits beef at the Sheboygan County Fair here. Uh, can you tell me your name, uh, your, your name and your age and grade and where you're from and what 4-H group you're part of? I'm Sarah Lillisand. I'm 14 and I'm from Herman Chios and I go to school in Howard's Grove. Great, and what part of 4-H do you all take part in besides beef? Um, I do community services like Adapt the Highway and um, Royal, Royal Life Sunday, which is where you deliver um, flowers to church on Sundays. So. Great, and can you tell me a little bit about your steer that you have here at the fair? Um, I sold my white steer at State Fair, and I had to have a backup steer, so this is my backup steer. And all the hard work paid off, so I was happy of the way I did. So, so um, tell me the breed of your steer, about how old he is, and how much he weighs. Um, he's a crossbred, which is a mix between two different breeds. And he weighs 1285. And um, this, uh, so what all did you have to do throughout the summer to get him ready for the fair here? Every day at 5 o'clock I wake up and I rinse them and blow them and then throughout the day I'll go outside and I'll comb them up for about three hours. So. Great, it's really, it's a lot of hard work to put into clipping them and fitting them and stuff for the show. So what else do you have to do and how hard is it to clip an animal to get them ready for the show here? It is actually really hard. You, first you have to pull up their le legs with adhesive and then you got to spray white paint so you know where they're clipping because they're black. And then you clip their top line, they'll be a smooth top, and then make them thicker. Um, and then you just put oil in them to make them shinier, and then you blow them out, and then you go in and show. Great, well thank you very much, Sarah. Uh, thank you viewers for following me around for the Sheboygan County Fair, and enjoy the rest of it. Thank you.
vegetable juice. That's good. Everybody say, that's good. All right, let's put it into the machine. Here we go, kids. We got, hey, look, it says good right here. I don't know about this machine, but it says good. That must be where you put the good stuff in. All right, let's put it in right there. All right, it ate the carrots. All right, here we go, kids. Here's ingredient number two. Everybody say number two. Here it is. It's the number one ingredient in the number two business. It's a big, beautiful, delicious, juicy, runny bag of prunes. Everybody say, uh-oh. All you kids, everybody say, where's the porta potty? <laughs> hey, listen, kids. Prunes get a bad rap, but they're good for you. They give you a lot to get up and go. Of course, I get up and go, got up and went, so I need some more. All right, let's put it in the machine, and it'll make our machine go. All right, here we go, kids. We'll put it up in the machine. There it goes. All right, now, all I got. <gasps> it turned out. Do you want to try one? What would you like to try? Which one? That one? Okay. Can I put one down here? Sure you can. You want the same one or a different one? Yeah, Okay, now go ahead and look it up. It's gonna hold it up for so long. Can you? Hi, I'm Chloe Fisher. I am 13 years old. This is my horse, Doodle. And we were in showmanship, Western Showmanship, Hunt Showmanship, Western Horsemanship, and Western Pleasure. And we got four first in all of our classes. How long you got the horse? How long you have the horse? How did I have the horse? How long? How long? Six years. And he's six years old. You from Sheboygan? I'm from Plymouth. Okay. Thank you. Hi, my name is Heather Bermerski and I'm from Sheboygan County and at least CC from Wolgabush Acres and Glen Beulah from Katie Wolgamuth. And he won two blue ribbons and two red ribbons. And I've been leasing him for about three months. And he is nine years old. Hi, I'm Abby Black and I'm from the Trailblazers 4-H Club. Um, I'm showing at the county fair this weekend and this is my 14-year-old quarter horse, Lucy. 
I'm leasing her from White Rose Farm in Oostburg. Um, I've been leasing for two years. And, uh, huh? I qualified for state this year in hunt equitation. And this is our last day fair and we're going home today. How old is the horse? She's 14. Hi, my name is Hunter. I am in, in the 4-H project with, li with my little horse, Little Shug. I, I ride at Hanrahan Stables, and, and I got Shug when, just this year, and I share it with my sister, Emma. She is in the Walk Trot program, and I am in Walk Trot Canner. We show on the 4-H circuit, A circuit, and sometimes a little bit of B circuit. I, I am here because of my, parent, my mom and my dad and my little sister. I, and Shuggy here is 12 years old, and she's an American saddlebred. Yeah. Um, she just got off of riding, but she has started riding, has been rode in the 4-H program in about six years, but she still knows how to do it pretty well. And, well, I guess we're happy to be here. Hi, my name is Allison Coppers. I'm from Oostburg, Wisconsin, and I'm in the Horse and Pony Project, Sheboygan County, and I'm in the 4-H group Trailblazers. This is my horse, Max. He's five years old. I've been riding him for a year. He's owned by Lisa Caswell, and we're going to state for saddle seat equitation, saddle seat pleasure, and western pleasure, and I'm hoping to do really well. Well, thank you very much for viewing this segment of the Sheboygan County Fair. Now it's my time to enjoy my favorite part of the fair here at the food stand at the Walk and Roll. This is Zeno. Can you tell me a little bit about your fair experience so far? It's been wonderful. And I hope everybody that comes here is going to have a wonderful time and enjoy all that there is to see and do. Thank you very much. Now I'm going to enjoy my favorite part of the fair, fair food. Delicious, thank you.